Hello guys, it's your boy Dinis here and welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be showing you how to properly make piston engines in scrap mechanic with the right engineering and tuning. So we all know that Khan has been messing with piston engines recently and he also wants to improve his engineering skills in terms of making piston engines. So I hope that Khan sees this video and learns. So let's get started. So we're gonna start off by making a pass through. So usually people just make it like this way, alright? So you put a three-way pipe to another bearing here, a three-way pipe again, and then we put a piston, put a uh, bend pipe, and then we weld it. I don't like this design simply because there is a much better design that you can make rather than this one. You can also make this in survival, so it's survival friendly and you can, you know, pretty much do whatever you want. So, <clears throat> first of all, we're gonna do this uh, a pipe another bearing just like the other one only one here on either side just uh, and then you put block and then you place a lift underneath it and you lift it up you put a piston oh you put a piston here you delete the uh, lift delete the blocks and then put it on the lifts and then only then you put a pipe that's it and this is how you make a pass through and this is how you make a pass through it works all right it works on both sides now let's start off by making the piston engine itself so we are going to be starting off with a sensor a four sensor here because in this this time we are going to make an inline four instead of an inline three that usually Khan makes so we are going to be making an inline four, so we have four sensors. And then we put a bearing here, which is going to serve huge importance after we make the entire thing. And we put a pipe, and this time we will put a four-way pipe. So if you think I'm wrong, that I have to put three-way pipe, you are the wrong here, because simply because this is a very unbalanced crankshaft. Let me show you why. So first of all, let's say that this is your crank, a three-way pipe like that. And then we connect it to a uh, pretty much any engine here like uh, this one. Let's say that the, there, like there is a piston like kind of like powering this or rotating this crankshaft. And as you guys can see, if, if we bump the speed up a little bit like that, Let's say that this is your engine, right? And as you guys can see, it's kind of like not stable. It's it's um, kind of like wants to, wanting to clip out of the bearing, but it's, but it's coded to be staying in that bearing. So technically, no. It's just yeah, like that. So instead, we replace it with a this one. Do it the same way, but we have to reflect the other one down here. But so, in that way, in any RPM, even if we max it, it will just stay in place. And that is the importance of balance crank. So now let's take into our making piston engine. So we put a four-way pipe here, and just like that. Make sure, of course, you do the balance crank thing. You put a bearing, a four-way pipe, a bearing, a four-way pipe, and then the last one, bearing, and the four-way pipe. This is the inline four crank shaft. And then we also put a bearing here, and like that. And here, it's a little tricky to place, place a block, but you can technically place a block here, like that. You put these, like that. And then you can put any set, any controller here, because controller is needed for piston engines. But of course, this one is needed for the variable timing and to rotate the crankshaft. And this is going to be serving as our timing plate. So let's say that you're using sensor level one, right? And you don't have color mode. This this feature in just technically you're using in survival. So all you have to do is to make th uh, three blocks wide, and then here another one so which makes it four all right <clears throat> like this make sure it's this one you don't have color mode all right 
Usually people will disagree and want you to do this. Three. Only three? No. You're wrong. Four. Or in some people, people will just say, No. Three. Just like here. On the side here. Uh, no. I disagree. Just four. Alright. So, if you do have color mode, you can technically turn it on, but this time I'm not going to be using color mode. So let's start off by connecting this bearing that we just put earlier, and connecting the rest of the bearings to the controller. Like here. Except for this one, because it's going to be uh, connecting this here to, to there later on. Make sure that this crank is going to be rotated, alright? So, since we're making an inline 4, we're going to have make it 90 degrees. Usually inline 3 needs like 120 with uh, only like 2 bearings but this inline 4 is better than inline 3 simply because it's going to be 90 degrees sensor alright we we usually do this it's much easier the, the design is much simpler and this is the reason why inline 4s are much better than inline 3s I mean of course once we do that, make sure it's uh, the cranks are ro rotated 90 degrees, except for the sensor here, which is going to be our timing. Also, this is what you call a variable timing. And let's, of course, let's paint the bearings before um, you're removing the feature that you can paint the bearings once you, um, you know, we started the world. Like that, and then we put this off the lifts. Um, oops, my bad. I actually didn't connect the uh, the other here. It was the uh, the sensor. My bad. So normally it's supposed to look like this, and only then we could put the uh, of course the bearings up here like that. I mean, there's technically we have a glitch welder mods. I I know this is survival friendly, but we can use this if you're using creative mode. So we paint this with using this exact paint, and then you, and then you click E, and then you can pretty much put bearings here. You do the same thing over and over again. Like that, like that, like that. But let's say if you're in survival, all right, and you want to make it easier. So all you have to do is to actually guess where it was. So let's roll this to the ground and like that. I'm pretty sure it's right here, that and that. Let's see if I get it right or it's probably the opposite. And boom! It is, I'm actually right. And now we are going to put the, the bend pipe. like that so after all that we of course gonna paint it I mean technically you can you don't have to paint this but yeah and then we put pistons here and then set the values to range to the three and then fast the speed as possible I know Khan said that you have it has to be two but it has to be three for the maximum performance alright so let's put it here let's put a pipe here and make sure we have to connect all these pistons in one place like this, like that, like that, like that, just like the same way you you make the crank. Or if you want to make it uh, even fancier, of course you I forgot about this one. You could make this a four-way pipe, and then this one uh, four-way pipe as well. I'm gonna connect these together, and weld it, and also the other side as well. As you guys can see, we have a really good design that looks like a DOHC, also known as a dual overhead cam IRL engine. So, like that, now it looks really cool. So now, we're gonna have to uh, connect the sensors to the piston engines. Make sure that these, if you got any of this wrong, it will fail. So make sure that the pistons are actually set into the range and speed properly. 
and also the crank are set properly and then like that as you guys can see the, the engine is not spinning that's normal oh oh okay it's it actually exploded so let's weld it to the ground all right let's weld this thing to the ground so right now the engine is stopped and it's kind of spinning but but what if i told you that i can make this faster like much much faster than you think so let's put, put a switch here and then connect the switch to the controller so we're gonna have to use the connection to this uh, to this sensor right here which is what you call variable time which is also refers to variable valve timing in IRL but well, basically this thing does is change the time of the engine of course so let's make sure that the, in here that the engine is stopped usually the engine starts with you know uh, going a little faster here or sometimes stop make sure that the engine is stopped here by rotating this one and only then we turn on the switch and then we modify here we set this thing to as fast as possible as you guys can see we have a very fast inline 4 according to my calculations this is, this is uh, 300 rpm which is a very standard RPM. So you can see it's going to 80. Uh, sometimes it goes like 330, which is uh, which you don't have to look into the moving average. Instead, you have to look up there, which is a little crazy. But technically, this is 300 RPM. The same case for the V4 engines or the V shape engines. Of course, I would leave a workshop link to this piston engine in the description down below. This is very simple. This is a very standard car. Or, I mean, I mean, this is a very standard piston engine in the mechanical community. So you can see, it works very fast. 300 RPM. Nice. Now moving on to a V engine. Let's, of course, do the same method for our timing plates. Our timing is now finished. Now let's adjust the settings. Like that. I, I, I want to make it to match uh, the uh, inline 4 timing. Uh, since we are going to be making a V4 or a V8, so this time we are going to make it a little complicated. We are going to go for a V8. I mean, technically, you can make V4, which is a little similar to V. I mean, which is a little similar to inline 4, but they are much better than an inline 4, let me tell you. So, instead of facing up, we make it facing sidewards. Alright, or make it, say, uh, make it uh, uh, horizontal, instead of vertical. And then, we only then we can do the same way. Since we're making a V8 here, of course, like the same way as an in inline 4. But this time we are gonna have to connect each of here of the crank pins and make sure that they are facing up like this. Since so, since I am lazy as hell, we got we got to have to use the glitch welder mod, which is a much faster method if you're in creative. But just because I'm using a mod uh, of unavailable in survival, it doesn't mean that it's impossible to build in survival. You could do the same method that I did earlier into making this inline 4 by building this type of crank. So this is going to be our V8. And then just do, do, do the same method, we have to uh, connect this. The crank shaft 90 degrees again, just like the inline 4. Fast. that. I uh, forgot to say that this is going to be our four-way pipe and we weld it right here. We put here some pipes here and then a bend pipe, a bearing, and a bend pipe, another bend pipe, a bend pipe facing that way and then only then we put some bearings and connect the um, pistons. 
and wonder and why and you're gonna be questioning why am I doing this? This is because we gonna have to make it shape like a V engine. And then we do the same thing here. And then we're gonna have to do the mirror thing on the other side. And like that, in these four bearings right here, we're gonna have to connect them to a controller. And then make sure that these are 45 degrees of angle. Make sure that they are facing the V shape angle. Um, just like this. Normally it's like, it's like that. Make sure they're not going in. But make sure that they are staying out. Like that. Like that. So now we have a V8 that is not properly timed yet. Only then we can uh, connect them through a sensor. So the timing here is going to be similar to an inline form. We do this, do that, do this, do that. Oh, I forgot about the uh, uh, piston value. Same thing for the other side. Like that. So now that the pistons are connected, now let's do the other same for the other side, but do not mirror it. Do not mirror. All you have to do is move one sensor up right here, and then only then you connect it. And you do the same way. Same way. Same way. Like that. Boom. Like that. I think I'm pretty sure the engine is now spinning, judging by its shape. So um, let's do let's put some concrete so it won't explode in the spawn. Oh, it's now it's actually working. I've done the VA timing first try. So like that's so make sure that the engine is actually stopped. Uh, this is our timing. It's connected to our uh, to the sensor. So make sure that the timing is stuck. Alright, 60 degrees. And then we just like the same thing. We tune here. Uh, and then do the same thing. What? 90 and 90. And boom. We have a V8. I mean, technically this side is a boxer, but this is the only way to make a V8 because the other designs of a V engine is actually not good, I'm telling you. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I will leave the links in the description down below of these creations. Oh, it's not supposed to do that. Oh, there we go. I mean, it's normal because uh, it's if it's stopped, well, uh, the timing is a little bit incorrect and makes the pistons go crazy. But when it's go, when it's active. Um, this is the, when the pistons finally go immersive, or should I say, stroking. So yeah, this is uh, the end of the video. Uh, I hope this video helps you a lot, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.